Hi, I'm Lauren Selby. And I'm Jamie Selby. And we've got three beautiful kids, Jackson, Alara and Tobias. And we're currently travelling the world. We're trying to show you how to live the ultimate life by living life the way that you want to. So before we started this ultimate adventure, if you like, what were we doing? Well, we had normal life, so to speak. Um, some would even say the perfect life. We had good jobs, a nice house, a lovely car, big garden. The schools were fantastic, but it wasn't making us ultimately happy. So we were like most people, both working a job to pay the mortgage and the bills and when we looked at the price of childcare for the two small ones, we were astonished. Unbelievable. It was, it was a... £2,990 to send the kids full time just so we could go to work. We started to ask questions, you know, could we use this money to start a new adventure? You know, could we use this £3,000 a month to actually begin something new, to start something new? We looked at what was on our top dream goals and it was always been travel. Travelling to it. here, travelling to there, mm -hmm. Paris, Rome, Venice, um, Italy, Sweden, whatever it was, <laughs> it was travel. So we said, right, if that's both of our dream goals, let's ask the kids what theirs were. Guess what it was? Travel. Toby wanted to see the Eiffel Tower, Jackson wants to see the pyramids, Alara just haven't got a clue but she's happy-go-lucky. So the journey began. Speaking to Marnie and the impact that we'd had on her life, she'd gone out and bought an RV and she had started travelling um, she and she was spending more time, time with her ch children and that, that to us. So we, we were like the inspiration for her and then she became the inspiration for us so she was like doing what we want to do and then inviting us to come and like experience that in america was like well this is a no-brainer like we've we've got to go so how do we fund it so we sold everything literally everything in the house out the house the house the car everything, everything. and we bought a new car a tent and a trailer and just <laughs> headed down south and we actually felt as we were driving that we'd leveled up like when you it, it's it's just this amazing feeling it's hard to describe the feeling but like i think you express it quite beautifully it's like we we felt like we leveled up because all of a sudden we haven't got all of this for want of a better word rubbish to kind of weigh us down yeah we we literally set out with a bag an aldi bag full of clothes each that's all we have we don't want to paint this picture that it's just so, so easy to sell your stuff and just go because we, you know, we said we had support, but then we also had the, the naysayers. The naysayers, and there's lots of naysayers, <laughs> lots and yeah. lots of naysayers. We'd sold everything. We started this journey in a tent, and we were a little bit apprehensive because, you know, it's it's a tent, you know, and it's got a kitchen, it's got a yeah, hob and everything. But actually, we're in the British summer <laughs> with a drought. We couldn't actually use the hob, so we no. had to eat out. You're not allowed to barbecue. We weren't, we weren't allowed to barbecue. There were we wildfires setting up everywhere, weren't they? They were just going off everywhere. Yeah. So we just literally had a no cook zone in our <laughs> new tent in the middle of a field. And we were down south in probably the most expensive, affluent yeah, area. one of the most affluent areas of the whole of the United Kingdom. So basically, what what we struggled with at this time was money mindset. Yeah. So. I had just set up a life coaching business. Jamie had just turned down a half a million pound contract so we could spend more time with our kids and there was no money coming in. And then you start doubting yourself and having the limiting beliefs like, you know, the kids are kicking off with each other in a tent. We don't know what to do for dinner. We set off in the tent, we bought the camper van. So one month's budget and we blew that in about a week. Yeah, literally. Literally a week because we were treating it like a holiday and anybody that that is called to go yeah, traveling yeah, anyone that's called to go traveling i would say you know just be warned that when you first go you will treat it like a holiday even, because it's so even, much fun yeah it is so much fun like you're just like oh we can just go over here and 
Oh, we can just the freedom. We need to go to anywhere and just. Bit. Oh, let's go to the tank museum. Oh, let's go to the fossil. Go fossil hunting. Let's go and. The kids wanted ice cream after yeah. ice cream. We found an amazing cheese shop. We Lauren's dad had gifted us these tickets on the Euro Tunnel, which we're very, very grateful yeah, for. And the kids loved it. And we jumped on the Euro Tunnel, and it, it was like we're in France. And then I was like, oh crap, we're on the, the wrong side of the road. And I've never driven on the wrong side of the road, let alone in a six and a half meter van. And I'm like, oh crap. And then the weather hits, and it is. It just literally slowed it down. We couldn't see like, anything. And the it was dark. The, it the was lights. Raining. I don't know whether the kids have been playing about with the lights, but the, my lights were like pointing down at the floor. So I've hit this motorway. I can't see a thing. The rain is coming down that hard. I, and I, sat nav I, wasn't loading. And sat nav wasn't loading we because we just changed country. So we, I'm like, ah, panic. The kids are crying in the background because they're hungry. And they're tired. And they're tired. And we're just like, we don't know, know where we're going, what we're doing. Um, and yeah. At that epic. point, we were a bit, you know, I was like, Lauren, shall we turn back? <laughs> because we, we're like, you know, is this the right decision? You know, the kids are crying. The, it's raining. We're in a very bad mindset. Are you doing the right thing? So then... When we slept on it, and we'd fed the kids, we slept on it, and we woke up the next morning in this little lay-by where we pulled over. I don't even know how we got there. I think it was parked for the night, so check out parked for the night. But um, we, we got there, we woke up in the morning, the birds were tweeting, it was literally so pretty. And obviously your mindset changes because the sun's out and the kids were all, ooh, can we go and explore? Mummy, mummy, can we go to, are we at the Eiffel Tower yet? Because then the dreams and the dream boards yeah. and the goals that we had started becoming a reality. And I was able to actually meet up with a friend that I met through coaching and she showed us around Paris. This is when we started, everything started becoming reality. We'd seen um, the seals on the beach, since then we've seen you know turtles in the sea and we've seen amazing amazing things and like i say the travel life those goals and dreams that we had on our vision board started becoming reality and disney Disney was just topping it off for the kids obviously as an accountant disney is uber uber expensive but it was so much fun and you can park your camper van in disney car park how amazing is that so we got to wake up there the next day so having all this positive we actually started to fall into a bit of routine this is where we realized we had to do things differently ultimately because we weren't living a normal life anymore we were living a van life the van life we're living the ultimate life yeah literally the ultimate life we are literally for us living it the way we wanted to how we wanted to where we wanted to when we wanted to you know, and we started to find systems that worked for us, find times, like Toby seems to be most wanting to do his homework at night time. Yeah, we were trying to get him to do it in the morning and we were trying to get him to do it like after lunch, but actually they were the best times for us to be out and about on the beach, learning on the go. So if um, home ed are watching this, we're doing 40 to 50 hours of homeschooling every single week with all of the children. <laughs> To everyone else listening. We were using passion to fuel the learning. Yeah. We, at the end of the day, we sat down and we got the kids to tell us what we'd done. Toby would write a story or draw pictures or whatever it was. So for us, talking to our teacher friends, they said that's enough for now. We learned that for us, we needed to get out in the morning, get up, get dressed, get out, get the fresh air. And then come lunchtime, I could do my coaching calls, Alara would fall asleep, Jackson would then fall asleep and we were better being on the road. So I was actually trying to find an internet cafe to do the work. Mm. But then we got an internet that works for us on the road and we were able to, I was able to do my calls whilst we were driving because mm. the kids slept. Jamie was focusing on the road and Toby was doing his homework. Speaking to people and like our friends back home was, and even people on the road were asking you know, would you would you go back to the nine to five life? Not for us. Not you know, for us, not, it might not, work for not, you, and that's not what, right now. Anyway. Yeah, that might be what you want to do. But for us and our family needs, we need the chaos a little bit. We're living this, you know, what we're calling the ultimate life. It's the ultimate life for us. So what we what we want to do is try and inspire other people to go after the ultimate life and live it how you, you want exactly. to, and do what's right yeah. for you. Because we've we found actually a bit of hybrid for us, and what I mean by hybrid is a bit of van life and a bit of Airbnb. A bit of Airbnb has worked really well for us because 
actually it settles the kids a little bit more personally don't per, like yeah it. personally don't like it because there's more things to clean um, more as, you know, as you'll see in our balancing life and, and work responsibility video uh, so please do check that one out this is our new normal hopefully yeah. just want to inspire you and if it's something you want please ask or drop any comments below we'd love to answer them and if there's any videos you'd like us to share like any questions that you've got about the van any question you know because this is a small van you know and a lot of people would assume because we've got a family of five that we've got this mega rv that's like 50 foot long so do it how you want just do what makes you happy please like and subscribe follow our journey for more inspirational videos on how to travel with kids